friends of Lordea. My name is Joanna Ruiz and I am back with episode number two. Now, I wanted to talk to all you first time home buyers out there to let you know the first four steps you can take to prepare yourself in purchasing your first home. So let's get started. Step number one, getting financially ready. So a mortgage is likely to be the largest loan you take on in your lifetime. So a bank definitely wants a full picture of your financial responsibility. So first and foremost, check your credit report. Your credit report is an ongoing record of the way you deal with your finances. Make sure you know exactly what's on your credit report before you apply for a mortgage. And make sure you have a full understanding of your credit report and examine it from top to bottom. If you happen to find any errors, dispute them immediately. You can usually dispute these errors with the credit reporting agency that provided you your credit report, or you can also go directly to the financial institution and dispute it with them. If you find you have good credit, awesome! Fast forward 30 seconds. And to those of you who found you have bad credit, don't worry about it. There's always a way to fix it. So those with not so good credit, first and foremost, you have to identify the problem. You should have an explanation within your credit report as to why your credit is not so good. It can be due to high credit utilization, delinquencies on your account, or you just don't have enough credit accounts out there. So once you identify the problem, make the change towards a better credit score. If you have high credit utilization rates, lower your credit card balances little by little until they're down to at least 10 to 20% of your overall credit limit. If you find you have delinquencies, you can definitely start a new track record. So if you have late payments, you can start making your payments on time and getting that good track record started. And also get a good mix of credit to show creditors that you are responsible with different types of loans and payments. And lastly, make sure to keep your oldest account in good standing. Make those payments, keep it open, because that's your benchmark account. And if you find out you're not ready for a home, don't worry about it. Rushing into the home buying process can definitely lead to higher interest rates and can just be a headache overall. So waiting until you're ready can save time, money, and your hair, I'm sure. So the next step in getting financially ready is to have a job and keeping the job for at least two or more years. Having a job for two or more years shows financial stability and it definitely looks good on your application. And since now you have a job and a stable job, you can start saving for a down payment. So step number two, now that you're financially ready, you can get pre-approved. Yay! Save time by looking at the right homes within your price point. Because you can be looking down here, you can be looking up here, and you find out, oh my gosh, I need more, or I can afford more. You know, you never know. And by doing this, you will also enjoy a faster closing period in the end, because you've already gotten all that paperwork done in the beginning. Make sure you know the difference between a mortgage broker and a bank loan officer. A bank loan officer is an employee that works for a bank who is local and can provide you a mortgage loan. A mortgage broker is a middleman who brings you and a lender together. So there are definitely pros and cons to going with either or. Um, a bank loan officer is local. Um, they usually know the specifics of your area, so if you have any questions, they can definitely be of help. The positives of a mortgage broker is that they can usually get a loan approved that a bank would usually deny. So there's positive and negatives to both, of course. Um, you can work with a local bank that you can make your payments local, you can interact with the staff, or you can have a lender that's out of state, but you can still do everything online. No matter if you have good credit, there may still be a possibility that you could be denied of a pre-approval. But find this as a positive thing. If you are denied, you are then told why you were denied and you can work on those specific points before you reapply. Some personal advice I can give to you guys is start a folder, get copies of your last two tax returns, put them in there, get copies of your last four pay stubs again, and also get your bank statements of all your accounts for the last four months, put those in there as well, and lastly, any additional income that you're having coming your way, get proof of that and put that in the folder as well. This folder that I am explaining and showing is going to come in handy in the end, trust me. So once you're pre-approved, you can start looking at homes within your budget, keeping your mortgage payment in mind though. 
So step number three is finding a real estate agent. Just as a reminder, Lordea.com does have a find a realtor function. As a first time home buyer, it would be a good idea to find yourself a real estate agent to represent you. Since they have advanced education and experience, they'll definitely be a big help to find out market trends, homes in your area, and meeting your home needs. So how do you choose one, you ask? First of all, I would get a recommendation from a friend or family member who just purchased a home and get a couple of names that you can interview. So when you're interviewing the candidates, make sure to ask them a couple questions. Ask them about recent clients, check for licenses and possible disciplinary actions. Ask about any professional awards they won that could mean they go above and beyond and definitely gauge their knowledge of the area you're wanting to live in. So congratulations, you're on step number four, deciding what you want. A typical pre-approval lasts about 90 days, so that gives you some time to make a list of your wants and needs and make sure you're looking at the right homes from the get-go. So now this is the fun part. Woo! Whether it's gonna be your forever home or a just for now home, it's still an amazing experience. Here's a tip for you, go on lordea.com, look at the homes that we have listed in your area and start getting a good idea of the type of home you're looking for. Whether it's a one story, two story, ranch style, backyard, park nearby, school nearby, you wanna live in the suburbs, city, gated community, I mean there are tons of options. Well, that's all for my video today. Stay tuned for my next video. I'll be going over what to look for when you're inside a home. Is it a moldy roof? Could it be a haunted home? A leaky roof? Haunted house? Stay tuned. Also, if you have any questions on any of the steps I mentioned today, please comment down below. We'd love to help you out in any way we can. And remember, Lordea.com is the go-to to find a home anywhere in the world.